When we are doing the construction, the first thing to do is to mark the position line of the wall panel on the ground. And then, fix the aluminum track on the ground with self-tapping screws M630. Align the aluminum track with the position line, punch the holes and install the rubber plugs and the screws. The interval of the fixing screws is usually 20 cm. The next step is to fix the wall panels. Snap the wall panel into the aluminum track and use self-tapping screws M630 to fix it. Drive front head dovetail screws on each corner of the wall panel and then use the outer cylinder and two-way to tighten the corners. After fixing the wall plate, install the PVC inner circular arc base. Use drum head dovetail screws to secure the base to the wall plate and attach it to the aluminum track. Press the inner circular arc firmly against the base of the PVC so as to secure them to the wall panel. It is also the same inside. The PVC base is always fixed first and then it comes to the inner circular arc part. So, how to deal with the corners? This corner is connected through a triway, and the PVC base also needs to be installed at the corner. Considering this is just a brief illustration, we didn't actually install them. The whole structure may look a little bit loose because it is not completely fixing now, but in real life construction and installation, it is firmly tightened. When there is a door, a section is needed. For example, if this place has been installed to the end, a door will be opened near the edge. And when the inner circular arc reaches the doorway, it will be cut off and no more passage will be possible. There is a dusty dead corner in the section, which is unsightly. So the section is stuck inside the inner circular arc with a door plug. In this way, the section of the inner circular arc is finally processed. After the wall panels are installed, the next step is to install the roof panels. First, secure the hammer to the C-beam. Use a screw rod to tighten the hammer, making sure it is snug against the top of the C-beam. Next, install the square jester. Tighten a knot on the jester and pass it through the hole. The next step is to install the hidden beam. Pass the M1030 screw through the hole and tighten a knot at the top. Insert the hidden beam into the proper position and tighten it. Adjust the height by tightening the M10 screw. And after completing these steps, the ceiling installation is completed. When installing the roof panels, snap the roof panels in from the side of the suspension beam and fix it with the dovetail screws after it is firmly clamped. Next, punch through the aluminum alloy from here and connect and fix the aluminum alloy to the top plate. Inner circular arcs and PVC bases also need to be installed above the connection part between the wall panels and roof panels. Regarding the fixing between the roof panels and the wall panels, drill the screws from top of the roof panel to the wall panel so that a fixing connection is made between them. It is also need to be noted that before fixing the wall panel, you need to fix the aluminum track on the wall panel to fix the connection between the wall panels. Put the run head dovetail screws on the corners of the wall panel to fix the wall panels and the aluminum tracks, and then put the roof panels on the top of that. In fact, this screw is to connect the aluminum tracks and the wall panels and turning them into a whole unit.